Hello everybody, this is Seraphim2001, back with more of The Longest Journey. So, last time, we had a very weird dream, or he put it at least, uh, talked to Cortez, who talks in cryptic bullshit, and we had a weird awakening dream at the painting, at the art institute, when, we're, when she was painting. Now, we're going off to meet Emma at the cafe. The Fringe Cafe. Ah, it's open now. I think people should have the good sense to do that kind of stuff behind closed doors. At least as long as I don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, true. I can understand that. Backpackers. It amazes me why backpackers flock to Newport. You'd think they'd have the good sense to stick to India, Australia, and the near-Earth colonies. Now, that right there, I've heard some theories about the fact that, uh, uh, Newport is not really on Earth. It's elevated up, like a higher, up, at higher elevation kind of thing. But I'm not so sure about that. Well, I mean, uh, at least that's what it kind of suspects, maybe. Or it could just mean, you know, just play the those colonies that have been recreated on Earth or something like that. I don't know. Something like that. Did I look at... Oh, yeah, I did. Let's go inside. Hey! Charlie! Mmm, giraffe. What? Oh, I don't think Actually, <laughs> I'm not a beer person. I prefer a glass of white wine or a cup of steaming mocha. Uh, uh, what? Oh, okay, I... Uh, somehow I clicked on Draft the... Draft beer. Import, of course. Somehow I clicked on the tap and... <laughs> Charlie, I was about to say, what? <laughs> Complimentary candy for paying customers only. Stan has a habit of taking it out of your salary if you, um, get the munchies. Mmm, great. Well, you know what? Let's take some, just for the head of it. I'm sure Stan won't notice if I dig gently into his supply. He's got crates of these in the back. Ta-da! We now have candy. Oh, forgot about that. Assorted candy. Colorful, no doubt also extremely toxic. Huh? why don't we try some? Oh, God, it's... Awful! It tastes like mouthwash. Ew! Who would want that? What? Now we got sticky candy. It's a sticky, half-eaten piece of candy. Want to try it again? Not particularly hungry. Okay. Mm. That's my good friend Charlie. He was the first person I met when I came to Venice, and I love him dearly, as a friend. Sure. Mm. Hi, Charlie. Noted. April, nice to see you, girl. You know, I came to wake you this morning, but you'd already left. Early bird catches the worm. No, early bird finishes the damn painting on time. <laughs> okay, so, well, he might have seen Cortez. Have you seen Cortez around? As a matter of fact, I have. And he was asking for you. Oh boy. Well, the question is, why was he asking about me? He asked about me? Yeah, where you were. He had a message for you. I told him to give it to Emma, that she would be more likely to bump into you. And she did give it. I got it, but I have no idea what it means. Cortez can be a little strange. Crap deck. That's all he is, crap deck. Do you know where he was going? No, but he seemed interested in that poster next to the jukebox. They put it up earlier today. Hmm. Okay. I have to go look at it. Uh. Maybe he had the idea. Do you have any idea where kids would be able to, um, visualize their dreams? Maybe in therapy. <laughs> I don't think I that's know. it, Charlie. Then I don't know. Oh, what? Thanks. Anytime, April. What else? Oh. Yeah, the cafe was closed a while 
a while ago. Now Why was the cafe fire. closed earlier? Uh, you know, some problem with the pipes. Stan, he gets real worked up. He is seriously pissed, girl. Keeps yelling at the plumber to fix it, or Stan will fix him. And the poor man is trying to work, but Stan doesn't quit. The plumber finds the problem eventually, but not until he's waist high in canal water down in the basement. Poor dude. Ooh, gross. There were problems with the plumbing back at the house, too. No hot water. I noticed. Girl, that was one cold shower. There are always problems with the pipes here in Venice. They're too old. Mm, How's work going today? Aside from the trouble with the plumbing, everything's been peaceful. Emma's here with Marcus and Isabel. Other than that, I mean, it's been a quiet morning. Everyone must be home out of the sun, yeah? Property. Or on holiday. Perfect time for it, too. The city's just boiling in July, and it gets even hotter in August. Uh, you should yeah. have stayed out in the country until the autumn, girl. It's cooler out there, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, the summers were cooler back home. Uh, I remember my home. It got so hot sometimes. My father worked as a volunteer fireman, and sometimes he'd borrow the old truck from the garage. He'd fill it with spring water from the river up in the hills, and then he would hose me and my sisters down with ice-cold water. We'd nice. laugh and scream and run around, and the funny thing is, his eyes would light up, and he'd be so proud of himself. He could be so good, and he could be so bad. On those days, I loved him so much. They were the good days. It seems that, hmm, not sure about Emma, but it seems like one thing they kind of have in common is some kind of issue with their parents. We don't know uh, either their uh, either April or Charlie's reasons, but they both seem to have some kind of uh, had some kind of fight with one or both of their parents and left. We know April, of course, is with her dad, and with him, it seems to hint that it might be his dad, Charlie's dad as well. Uh, you doing anything, anything special tonight? Special? Working. Mm. I should really be at rehearsal, but I need the money. I'm going home for a week before school starts in September. Right, you told me. Well, that's great. It's been years since your last trip home, right? Yeah, right. You remember well, girl. Four years. My father and I, well, we haven't been on good terms since I left. I know how that feels. Isn't it such a cliché, though? I don't look forward to seeing him again, but it will be nice to be back with the rest of the family. Especially my sisters, you know, and my mom. Mind if I ask you a few questions, Charlie? Why would I mind, girl? More background story. Yay. Uh, well, <laughs> I, I think we kind of know that Cortez? again. Why do you want to talk about Cortez? I don't know him that well. He's been around for as long as I can remember, but I really never talked to the man. Do you think he's as crazy as some people say? No, he's not crazy. Just a little eccentric. He doesn't give a donkey's ass what people think or say about him. And that's cool. I don't know. I have a feeling there's a lot more to Cortez than what he wants us to believe. That man has had an eventful life, I'm sure. Hmm, probably. Uh... Ah. What was it about me that made you want to be my friend, Charlie? Everything, girl. You're a sweet peach. <laughs> no, it's true. I liked you from the very beginning. When you first came into the cafe with a suitcase in each hand, lost and bewildered. God, thanks for reminding me. I was such a country bumpkin. No, everyone who comes to Venice looks like that, girl. This is the village of the damned, don't you know? <laughs> yeah, so, it, so, Venice, of course, seems to be the kind of place, uh, 
where everybody runs off to you know that yeah, it seems to be that place that one place that every runaway goes to or at least anywhere nearby uh, what about Emma oh, how long have you known Emma I ah, met Emma no. about a year ago when she started studying at Vava she moved into the room just opposite mine and we became friends almost immediately I like her a lot, and the two of you are the best friends I've ever had. Thanks, Charlie. The same goes for me. Did you ever tell Emma that? Yeah, I told her, and she jokes about it. That's just Emma. I know she appreciates me telling her, though. <laughs> I'm sorry, every time I hear Vava, the first thing that pops in my mind is Mendoc's sister from Dexter's lab. You might call me La La Vava. <laughs> I don't know why that popped in my head. <laughs> um, Does Emma's yeah. behavior ever worry you? She can seem a little out of control from time to time, but she's smarter than people give her credit for. I think she's able to take good care of herself. She's a brilliant artist. Her sculptures are inventive and beautiful. And one of them tried to attack me. I know. Sometimes I'm in awe. They just don't seem to match her personality. She's a deep person, but she hides it well. She's more comfortable being a ditzy teenager than a professional artist. But around the two of us, sometimes she lets the disguise drop. I love her when she does that. Uh, Do you like living Venice? in Venice? I love Venice. I've been here three years now, and I haven't wow. grown tired of it yet. I don't know if I ever will. Venice is like a college campus. There are so many young people here from all over the world. And the mix of nationalities and ideologies and ethnicities is refreshing and inspiring. The fact that we're also right in the middle of one of the great cities on Earth is just a bonus. Call Newport whatever you want. At least it's alive. And there's always something going on. Yeah, Venice is my kind of place. And I'm not planning on leaving anytime soon. At least not as long as all my friends are living here. Yeah, okay. You know, for, forget what I said before. I'm an idiot. I completely forgot about it. But, um... They talked about near-Earth colonies before. Forget what I said about that. About saying... If this is on Earth, I think I specified that in the first set, but that does hint at there being off-world colonies, so space travel has possibly been invented, and um, they've made colonies on other uh, planets, so it, eh, you could say it's kind of Mass effect -y. But before Mass Effect, obviously, this was made years before that. Uh, what, what about, about you? you, Charlie? Well, for the background me? story on him. Yeah. When was the last time you talked about yourself? I don't talk about myself, girl. You know that. Still, I'd like to talk about you for a bit. If you want, just in general, or is there anything in particular you want to know? Well. What's your what's biggest dream? dream? A dark stage, a packed auditorium, and a single spotlight. Dancing, girl, don't you know? I'm a good dancer, but I need to be among the best to make it out in the real world. So I'll keep studying and I'll keep working as a waiter to support my studies. Just like you. Yep. Um, actually he... what was it? He mentioned before, I just had a thought, he mentioned before that he hadn't seen his family in four years, but he said he had only been in Venice for three. I'm kind of curious what he was doing for that first year that he was away. Uh, unless he's... Hmm. I might be thinking too much into it, but I'm a little curious now. Uh, how did you end up how in did Venice? you end up in Venice at home there wasn't much professional training available for dancers and my father he was not happy about my choice of career he wanted me to work in the factories like him and his father out here in Venice everyone's got their own dreams and people are supportive of each other no matter how crazy those dreams might be 
Your dream isn't crazy at all, Charlie. You're already halfway there. But I still have a long way to go. You're right, girl. I can make it if I work hard enough. So can you. Because we're both just so damn talented. <laughs> I kind of like Charlie. He's very upbeat. More than I can say for myself. Uh, are you happy? Are you happy at? working here at the cafe? We make decent money, if that's what you mean. I don't want to be a bartender for the rest of my life, obviously. But yeah, I'm happy I have a job. And you work here too, so I get to hang out with my friend, right? If it wasn't for that, I don't know if I'd be able to do it. Hard work and lousy pay. The hours are flexible, and like you said, I get to hang out with you and my other friends. That's all I wanted to know, Charlie. Okay. All right. Uh, well. Thanks, Charlie. You should thank I him have to get and going, Charlie. get moving. Take care. All right. Remember, you're supposed to get paid today. Stan's not gonna remember unless you bug him about it. No, oh, yeah. 